and I absolutely hate it. I'm gonna be completely honest. I cannot be bothered with that. I cannot. <laughs> Hi y'all, <laughs> day two on the road, today's Tuesday. I'm currently outside, um, where did we go? I went to pick up a farm for my old job and then I ended up buying some, um, some deodorant and some, what do you call that? Some deodorant and some virgin hair fertilizer for my hair. This is all I use in my hair really. And then um, I ended up popping by a jewelry store and just sold a little bracelet that I had. And the man gave me $80 and some other knickknacks. And then I went to the post office to mail some shit for my sister, which took forever and I was mad as hell. And I'm literally starving because before we did all of that, we didn't even eat any breakfast. And it's currently 12.22, so I'm starving. God. Really want to buy some breakfast, but there's also food at the house. So it really does not even make sense, even though the breakfast would be ready right now. That I'm so starving. Literally so starving. I just want some good coffee. Yeah, so starving. Right now we're at H and R block picking up um some forms from Miss for Mister. And then I think we're gonna just go home and pretty oh we gotta pick up the laundry. Because he doesn't have any clothes to wear to work. So we're going to pick up the laundry. And tomorrow I'm back on the road again to work. Oof. These two days off were good though. Even though I felt like we should have been sleeping. Yesterday was a good day. But um. Yeah I want to just go home and really lay down. I don't have nothing else outside to do right now. Well I really want to just go home and lay down. I also need to call this agency for the, la the old lady that I'm taking care of. Because they haven't sent anybody out to take care of her and her insurance covers that. So I need to call them to find out what's going on. But I don't even have the number. Oh, maybe I have the number in my phone. So I'll try and call them. But we're just here on the road again. So hopefully when we go home right now, we can like sleep for a few hours. <sighs> so that tomorrow we don't feel so exhausted. I'm going back to work. For him, it's going to be like, um, I guess it's the same thing. But yeah, that's all. So I just told Mr. that I want to go to Ikea. There's an Ikea across the street. Up here. Where is that? Up here. So I told him that I want to go. Because I've never gone into an Ikea. I've browsed around on their website before. But I've never actually gone into one. And eventually I'm going to need like a closet system for instead of the bedroom, right? Where I have like the shoes. Because we just need more storage to store both our things comfortably. So he said we're going to go in there right now. I'm freaking starving, but I guess I could go in there. So we're going to do that right now. See, this is what I always heard about Ikea. About the setups and everything where it like gives you an idea of how to like do your space. Oh my gosh, I love these. Oh, but it's a whole contraption of how to like do your space you know it gives you ideas i love the ideas this wall is a little bit busy for me but like i love just the idea of the entire setup it feels like you're touring houses like it's so nice the curtains too are so i love these curtains i definitely put these in the living room they look like they're blackout. Another living room setup. This looks like a living room with like a kids area. This setup is so cute. I love the workspace setup. So cute. And it like seats so many people in so many different areas. And like a little kitchenette. This little bathroom setup is everything. It shows you that your space literally does not have to be big. The shower is so cute. And this is where like the sink and stuff is. That's so nice. And out here would be like a little kitchen area with the bed. This looks like a, a New York City studio apartment. And they have a little office in the bottom. And then 
This would be their living room area. A little futon, it looks like. This one is definitely the one that I had in mind and I love how the inside of it looks. And you put like a second one of this down here to hang more things. So cute. It's giving so much inspiration here because look at this kitchen setup. I love this island. We'll definitely do the setup. This is so cute. This gives you idea for when you like build or whatever. But the setup is so nice and it leads into like a little bathroom here, which is so cute. So cute. Here we go into a little bedroom here. Oh, these closet systems are really what I came here for. This one is for $3.90. This is the PAX system. The PAX I looked at online before. Wow, and it has the laundry bins and stuff. I like a lot of hanging space though. God, this would be so much for us to set up. This one is nice. This I looked at online too. This one is for $3.90. Look, it has the laundry bins. So cute. So minimalistic. I just love these wardrobe systems. Oh, I could do this one too. This one is for $179. You'd put the hanging piece here. The other ones felt way better though. Like more durable. Okay, it's giving a vibes right now. The kitchens are not done, but they're so, this one isn't done, but they're like so nice. It shows you like the smaller spaces. How you'd set it up. And like an even bigger space, open concept. So guys, we went and walked around in Ikea, bought some Burger King because I'm literally starving. I was. A huge cup of Sprite. So good. And now we're going home. Mister said that he wanted to see my hair out and I've had my hair out and I absolutely hate it. I'm going to be completely honest. I cannot be bothered with that. I cannot. It's just too much of an upkeep and too high maintenance and I really do not at all have the time. Anyways, today when I was at work, I found a new series on Netflix that I'm gonna um, watch. So I've just been kind of setting everything up to get that ready to watch. I've been home for a little minute. On my way home, I really um, knew that I didn't want to come home and cook. So I made sure that I stopped. <sighs> Kinda tired, I said I was gonna sleep. I made sure that I stopped by the deli and I bought Philly cheese steak and some fries. And when I tell you I ate that so quickly, I really just scoffed it down, I, I inhaled it. So now I'm just chilling and watching something I'm off for the next two days, so that should be great. And then I'm gonna be off again Thursday. So right now we're gonna watch some Dark Desire on Netflix, even though I literally hate when the shows, their mouth does not move to the way how they, um. I don't even like they're 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 saying one thing and their mouth is it's like a different language. I hate that, but I'm really enjoying this. So I'll see you guys later.